Welcome back to this week's video. Now, you guys saw me about two weeks ago last. I was supposed to film a video last weekend, but then we had quite heavy rain. And yeah, that would not have worked. So, welcome back. And I'm joined again with my good friend, Frankshwell. Hey, you guys. So, I want you to tell me, what did we do in part one? Okay, so in part one we technically made canvas using wood glue and white paint. It was fairly interesting and I learned a lot. Then I'm glad. So now, what can you guys expect from part two? We're going to take that canvas and we're going to draw a bottle. Now it's standing in the background, but we're going to draw that bottle. But we're going to break it down in shapes. We're only going to sketch it out today on the canvas. We will also, I'm looking to also do a sketch, but I'm not sure about that part yet. But we're focusing now just on basically on painting. And this is out of our, both of our comfort zones, if I'm not mistaken. No, you are not mistaken. <laughs> so this is what I want the art channel to be. I'm not going to do something that I feel comfortable with. I want to go out of my comfort zone. So without, without further ado, Let's get in with the video. Let's do it. Oh. Until they see you come closer and you can stop that. But back to the point. Um, so they even have all. They even have all. <laughs> okay, we 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 are filming. So. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Hey guys. So we're on the overhead view. I try to get the camera as nice as possible so you guys can see. I've already started, and then we realized that the camera room wasn't like us. So I'm gonna just do it. Yeah. So again, my, my mic is in a blonde like always, so I hope you guys can hear properly. And I'm gonna say two things. I want dog had puppies and yeah, they were outside, so that's the chunky. And then the garage door is open because it's hot. We know like a single garage. So the wind and the stuff outside. So sorry about that though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bottle. Um, this is how the bottle looks. For you guys, you can't really see it like this. It's like half of the top it didn't make it off. So, the bottle looks like this. There's a small rim, and then there's like a neck again. Yeah. So this is the bottle we're gonna work with. So sorry guys, you can't really see it. We're gonna work with it upright, but follow along with it. I will see you to put the, how the bottle looks somewhere in the video. So I'll just take a photo of that. Yeah. So, we're going to start with the basic shapes. Now, we're mainly going to work with rectangles. Mm. So, your rim is a very thin rectangle. Now, the bottle is going to be drawn in 2D. You're not going to draw the bottle in 3D because 2D is just a bit easier to explain. So, you're going to start off with a thin rectangle. Long and thin rectangle. And what's nice is with the paint, uh, with the canvas, we're gonna paint. So your lines can be a bit darker. Where if you work with paper, you'll have to work with a light pencil. I hope you guys can see. Now, when you're done with that, right under it, you're gonna leave a small gap, and you're gonna draw a line basically the same length, right? And then you're gonna draw two lines going down. But this was also be very thin and because smooth. yes, now we're working on the rim of the bottle, so going from there downwards. On these two sections. Now we're gonna work on this part of the bottle, which is actually a cylinder, but we're gonna work with a rectangle. So now from where that point ends, the point that came down, we made the shorter line. You're going to take your line down to however long you want it. From there, you're going to use the same length as the line you ended your rectangle with. Draw another line. And then the same as the second one, you're just going to draw your lines out. Oops, mine is a bit skew. You're just going to draw your lines straight out. And then just close it. 
and I went too short with mine. Because I've actually went too short with mine. I thought it was part of the process. <laughs> Sorry. You still burp. That's fine. We're gonna work on this long piece of the bottle. Right. So now, same thing, you're gonna draw your line just under that. Basically the same length. And then you're just going to draw it straight down. Now this is going to be the longest rectangle we have because that's the longest part of the bottle. Now my bottle's a bit small, but just roughly showing you guys. And then you're going to close it off. And now, so we just worked with this section. Yes, a section going down. Yeah, this section. And this section and then now this one now we're going to work at the bottom of the bottle now that's the same concept you're going to draw your straight line and then same as this one you drew for this section for this section you're going to draw that same shape but it's just going to be a little bit smaller and then you're just going to connect that and then that's going to be your basic shape of your bottle now, because it's a bit of, it is a round object, it is something that is got rounded edges and there's no sharp edges visible. What we're going to do now is, you preferably work lighter with your pencil, but we're just working with darker so you guys can kind of see on the video. But work light. I'm working with a 3B, work with an HB or a 2H. It's just a light pencil to do this with. And if you work on paper, also work with the 2H because it is light. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and make everything rounded. And now you're just going to work on your lines and just round everything off. To the shape of your bottle. This is a bit of a part that is a bit, I won't say tricky, but it is something to get used to. And work with short lines, don't try to work with long, like, don't try to do one continuous line. Work with short strokes and then just round your bottle off. Okay, so you guys can see my bottle shape. Because now you can go shape your bottle, you can have a wider middle, you can have a skinny middle. However, this video is just to show you that you can take an everyday object and like use shapes to break it down. When you got paint, you can just make it look better. Mine isn't perfect, I'm going to agree with you. but. You have that roughness of it that you can just use to paint with. So that is the idea we have. So I hope using this will make it easy for you guys on the long end. On the video you can actually see the outlines, how the bottle is going to look. Yeah, it doesn't look too nice. So. so, tell me what you have learned out of this whole experience of breaking down a simple bottle into shapes? Well, I've learned that you can draw stuff like bottles that is circular using rectangles, which is actually quite amazing. I would have never done it that way. Maybe just as a box to draw it in, but... You see, you learn new things every day. You learn the unexpected. Taking a round thing, using... Oh, how? But it works. And using shapes in art makes your art so much easier to draw because a lot of things is consistent out of shapes. Like, you are a realism artist. So explain to me the shapes you would use in the face to form and to have a base of your face. Well, in the face you mainly use circles. I don't entirely like using that method, but it does come in handy when you draw out of your hand, but it's mainly circles. 
you barely use rectangles just to map out where the eyes and the nose and mouth is. You see, so people are completely different. I always don't use this method that I showed you guys, but in some cases I do. I find it sometimes difficult, but sometimes it makes it easier. So it's all up to you as the artist. Very true, I agree with you. So, I will see you guys in my next part, which is part three, which will be painting. Yeah, I know, let's not speak about that right now because I don't know how that's going to end up. But guys, please remember to like, subscribe, and remember to leave a comment down below. And we want to see your drawings you did. So remember, at the end of this, you will see a, a, a Instagram post where you can tag me in the things you did with shapes. So until next time, stay tuned for the next video. Bye. Bye.